In this video, you will learn how to implement lazy loading of images inside Angular. And the sponsor of this video is Upload Care. If you want to make possible files uploading on your website, you typically need to build frontend, backend, storing files on either your server or uploading them to CDN. And it's a lot of work. If you want to implement upload directly from Google Drive or Dropbox, it's even more work. Upload Care solves all these problems at once, and just in several lines of code, you can get all these things out of the box. If you want to check Upload Care, there is a link in the description box below. So what problem do we typically have? We have a website, and we simply throw lots of image tags inside and load images. And this is completely fine for your home internet, which is blazingly fast, but it is not fine for some slow mobile network. Obviously, we want to optimize our images to make sure that they are being loaded in the best possible way and work even on slow internet. And as you can see here for our project, I already prepared several big images, as you can see image 1, image 2, image 3, 4 and 5. But additionally to that, I generated small images, which are only 20 pixel size. For example, here is the small image of this. As you can see, it looks like an extremely blurry version of it. We will render this image, which is extremely small and can be loaded fast, first, and only then, after our big image is being loaded, we will show this image instead. And as you can see here on the right, the size of the big image is 600 kilobytes, it is optimized, and non-optimized image can easily be like 5 megabytes. And my small image is only 500 bytes. The next question is how to generate such small images. First of all, you can use any online project, which allows you to compress images. Another possible variant is to use FFmpeg library, which allows you to call command like this. We can write here ffmpeg-i, this is our source, source assets image 5 for example, and then we are scaling this image to 20 pixels, and here is our output, source assets image 5 small jpeg. It will generate for us a much smaller image, which will look kind of blurry. And the next step that I want to do is create an additional component, which will implement for us these progressive images. This is why here let's create a folder and name it for example progressive image and inside we need an html file and a component file so it will be progressive image.component.html and progressive image.component.ts Now here let's open our ts file and create our component So what we need here is a selector for example progressive image and a template url and obviously this is a standalone component now here I want to export our class, which is progressive image. What inputs do we want for this component? First of all, we must get a source of our image that we want to render, and also the source of a small image. This is why here I want to create two inputs. First of all, an input, which will be required. This is by required true. And this will be our image URL. And this is a string. As you can see here, I am getting a warning that image URL has no initializer and is not definitely assigned in the constructor. This is totally fine for us because this is a mandatory property. This is why here I will put an exclamation mark. Now I can copy our input again and make one more input, which is an image URL small, and it is also a string which actually means this is our component and we're getting two images. Now here I want to jump inside HTML and simply create a div and render inside first of all our image URL and secondly our image URL small. So our basic component is prepared, let's now try to use it inside our app component. So here we must import our progressive image and actually this is a component, I forgot to write the word component, so let's rename it to progressive image component. And now we can render this item inside our app component. So here I want to create some parent, like maybe image container, and inside we will have a single image, this will be a wrapper of this component, image item for example. And inside let's render our progressive image component, where inside we are providing our image URL. And in our case all my files are living in slash assets slash and here is image1.jpg. And now I must do exactly the same, but for image URL small, and I'm providing here image1-small. 
Now let's close here our progressive image and the first image is there. And actually here the class is not correct, it should be image item. And now what I want to do, I want to copy paste 5 times this image. And here we must update the image to image 2, image 3, image 4 and image 5. Let's check if we are getting any errors. As you can see here, I have an error, image URL small is not there inside our progressive image component TS. Yes. And it happens because I missed letter L here. As you can see now everything is green, let's look in browser. Here are our images and everything is rendered. Now let's try to render our images inside our HTML. I just want to remove everything, create just a single div and render inside our image with source like we typically do. So it should be source image URL. As you can see in browser, our images are rendered, but they're extremely huge. Now the question is, does it make sense to provide a width inside our progressive image? Not at all, because this is a reusable component and we want our image to stay fluid. This is why we must jump inside app component CSS and here we want to create, first of all, our image container and we must provide here some widths maybe 500 pixels and we want to position all our images on the center so margin zero auto as you can see in browser it didn't really help fully this is why we must tune our progressive image and in order to tune it we must create also a css file so let's create here progressive image dot component dot css and we must inside our ts file register this style url inside an array now what I want to do is inside our HTML create for our image a class image so we can tune it a little bit. And let's open our CSS file and create here our image class. We want to render our image as a block and its width must be 100%. As you can see in browser now it is looking much better but we are missing some space in between our images. And again, we don't want to tune our image inside progressive image because this is a reusable component. We must tune it outside inside the component CSS. We can tune here our image item and just add some margin bottom, maybe 20 pixels. And now our images are looking amazing, like on the Instagram, for example. Now let's start with improving our performance. And first of all, what we can make, we can load all our images with lazy. This is why we can jump back inside our progressive image component HTML and here we can just write a single loading property and set it to lazy. And as you can see inside can I use website, you can use loading lazy in all modern browsers. Obviously not in Internet Explorer, but we don't care about that. Now the question is what this loading lazy does. It loads our images only when we have resources for that, which actually means we already finished with more important tasks. For example, first of all, we're rendering the whole page and only then we're starting to render our images. But as you can see, the loading of all these images is blazingly fast for me because I have a really nice internet. What I can do to test how it will be on the slow mobile devices, I can click here on the network and select instead of no throttling, for example, slow 3G. It is still not enough for that. I must select here empty cache and hard reload. And as you can see, all these images are loaded a really long time. And as you can see, the images here are still loading and it takes more than 20 seconds to load them. Which actually means lazy is not really a good solution for slow internet. This is why our next step here is to render that super small images that we can load extremely fast. This is why here on our div I want to render a background image by using ng style. And why background image? Because we want to cover fully our image and apply a blur to it. This is why here what we can write is our background image and the value here will be URL and we must concatenate it with our image URL small that we are already getting here. As you can see here we are getting an error cannot bind to ng style since it's not a known property of div. In order to fix that, we must jump inside our TS file and import here common module. As you can see, we don't have any errors now, but we don't really see our image. And it happens because our image is being loaded too fast. What I want to do instead, I want to jump inside our CSS and set here opacity to zero. 
which actually means our image is there, but it is not visible. And now this is how our images is looking like. As this is a background image, it takes these images of 20 pixels and repeat them. We don't want that. This is why here for our HTML, I want to apply a class. So let's apply here a class, for example, a placeholder. And now we must style it properly inside our CSS. So for our placeholder, we want to apply, first of all, background repeat, no repeat, and then background size will be cover. And the last one here is the filter. I want to apply here a blur of 10 pixels. In this case, we can't really see that our image is low quality. As you can see in browser, it looks much nicer. You can really see the pictures and they're being loaded extremely fast. Just compare here an image of 700 bytes and the same image of one megabyte. But now the next question is how we can replace our blurred image with our real image when it is loaded. And we can do it extremely easy because our image is already there inside HTML. We simply don't show it. And in order to show it, we can use here an event which is called load and it will be called when our loading of the image is finished. So here let's create on image load and we need this function inside TypeScript. Now what we want to do here, we want to simply set this is loaded to true. And here on the top, we can create property is loaded and by default it will be false because by default any image is not loaded. Now here I want to jump back inside HTML and what we want to do, we want to show our image when it is loaded. So here instead of class, we can create ng class and class image we want to render always. This is why image true, but we also want image loaded class and we will render it only when our image is loaded. And exactly the same we must create for our placeholder. I want to create here ng class and here we will have an object with placeholder true, but additionally we will have placeholder loaded class and it also will be is loaded. Now we can create these two additional classes, placeholder loaded and image loaded in order to hide our placeholder after our image was loaded and to show our image when we loaded it. This is why here we can create class image loaded and we just set here opacity to one. And also we want here to create placeholder loaded and we just need to remove our blur. This is why filter none. We don't really need to remove a background at all because it won't be visible and our image will cover it. Let's have a look. I'm reloading my page and as you can see all images are there. And you can't really see these small images because my images are being loaded extremely fast. But now let's try to use slow 3G and empty all cache. As you can see here, we already see our blurred image, but we don't even close see our finished images. And only after 20 seconds or so, one of the images is becoming real. All other images are still blurred. Later comes one more, but still lots of images are being loaded. But as you can see, this is exactly what we wanted. We show some super small images which are loaded extremely fast instead of our real images on the slow internet. So this is how you implement lazy loading of images inside Angular. But you might also want to use these images to create an image slider inside Angular. And if you're interested how to do that, make sure to check this video also.